Hi, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to look at the insert query. So in the mapper XML file, we are going to look at the insert query. So in order to create an insert query, we are going to use an insert tag. So to this insert tag, we are going to pass four attributes. One is ID, another one is parameter type, key property and use generated keys. Let's look at one by one. The ID, of course, we have to give a unique ID. I'm gonna call this insert employee. You can give any name you want. The second attribute name is parameter type because the user will pass the employee object to this insert query. The employee object will contains the employee data like first name, full name, email, date of birth, address, and etc. etc. So we have to specify the parameter type, which is employee. Again, this is a alias name which we have configured in the configuration file. Instead of specifying the fully qualified class name, we can use the alias name which is employee and key property. This key property which is nothing but the primary key. So if you go to the employee entity class, our primary key is mapped to this property which is id property. So that we have to specify in the key property and use generated keys. I'm going to specify true because we don't want to generate the primary key. So we are going to tell to the mybetis to generate the primary key. For that, for that purpose, we are using this use generated keys and I'm setting it to true. Inside this, we are going to write an insert query. Insert into the table name, which is employee. And we're going to specify the column names, which is full name, email, gender, hobbies, country, address. If you look at this, we are not passing the ID because we are specify the use generated keys true so that in the database, the ID will be generated and we're going to specify the values. The values will be coming from the parameter type, which is employee. Full name. These full names are nothing but the property names. Let's save this. So now we have created this insert tag, which is nothing but inserting a record to a database. And we are passing the four attributes, which is ID, parameter type, key property, and use generated keys. And make sure inside the values, we are specifying the values, which is coming from the employee entity class. And now inside the employee mapper.java, we are going to create a method public void. I'm going to call this save employee. And to this, we are passing the employee object. Inside this, first of all, I'm going to create, create the SQL session factory and we're going to open the session. Once we get the session, I'm going to call insert method on this session object. To this insert method, we will be passing the ID of the ID of the mapper tag, which is this. And we're going to pass the parameter, which is the employee object. And we're going to call the commit method 
session dot commit and I'm going to close the session session dot close save this so now we have created a save method and to this save method we are passing the employee object and that employee object we are passing it to the mapper xml file in the mapper xml file we are executing the insert query so in the next video we are going to look at the getting a single employee so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video